Hi, welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom here at Judaica.com. I'm Isaac. This is Hannah. And we are getting into the home stretch yes. of uh, preparations for Rosh Hashanah, right? Yes, so close. So we've, we've already spoken about the greeting cards. You're getting a little late in the game to do the greeting cards now. Yeah. Um, we've spoken about shofars. Yep. Still, you more than enough time for shofars. Absolutely. Uh, we've spoken about honey, honey dishes and honey itself. We still have some of the honey from last week sitting around here somewhere. Um, apples, we don't sell the apples, but you can go to your grocery store and, yeah, and, and buy them. I like make risk. I guess it's good for, uh, you know, I, I, I guess it's good for Rosh Hashanah, right? The honey right. crisp apples, yeah, the sweet it's apple. The, it's the perfect kind, perfect yeah. time. I find them actually crisp, yes. as opposed to like the gala or... Those are like cooking or, apples. Or like the red delicious. I don't yeah. find them so delicious. They're yeah. a little mealy, I find. I don't like them. Yeah, those are good for baked apples. Right. I was telling you before is that I uh, was eating an apple just prior to uh, to coming uh, to doing this, and I was telling Hannah that for years I didn't I didn't eat apples. I was allergic to them, and then I woke up about three years ago and found out that I could eat them. So it's a good thing to find out. Apples are something to miss. Yeah, I like I, you know, I like them. It's a good snack. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's like a little bit of a meal, but not quite. So it's good. Um, so what do we got? So so. The, uh, and in, pre- in, in, in preface to uh, Rosh Hashanah, we are we're next week. We're going to be having actually, and we announced it last week, but uh, we have Wayne Walter coming yes. next week. So we're not going to be talking strictly about Rosh Hashanah specifically next week. But um, so this week we decided to get the rest of the stuff in that's appropriate for Rosh Hashanah, and we'll talk about it now. So what do we got here today? All right, let's start off. Yeah. So you know, kids. Well, we did not cars. talk about these last, was it last week we did chauffeurs or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. No. We didn't talk about the kids chauffeurs because we had too many to discuss. Yeah. But these are kids chauffeurs. These are, you know, obviously kids play with them wherever it is. They don't sound as beautiful as they are. No. It doesn't have the same no. ring to it, let's just say. But they're, you know what these are selling for? These are not expensive, right? No, I think they're, they're like, like a couple of dollars. Four Three, dollars, dollars at most. Okay, yeah. not expensive. Good to order in bulk for your kids, so that yeah, so, so that you're by the way, it's it's cheap enough that everyone can have one, right? Right, because I know it's like in my house. Oh, why you love her better than you love me? Right. Oh, you why why do they get? It's not fair to me. And you know, I mean, there's sometimes you want to teach your kids about disappointment in life. And then, or that life is just not fair. Sharing, maybe. But this is not the place to do it. All right. Let's go. I will stay in the kids' theme. Yes. All right. This is. What is this? That is um, the best. So if you. This is the. This is the best. I think so. It's a great little toy. So if your kids are too young to use. You get the apple. Yep. To use the plastic ones, we have the soft ones. We got the apple. It's got the candlestick. These little candlesticks here. This is the hall. You know, you get the round colors. Yep. Then they're wrapped. Yeah, they're they're ready. All right. You know, they can they plump up when you do it. So. What 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 was that? You just push it up. It's it's packed down for for shipment. I did not know that. Really? Okay. Look at that. And then you got here's a pot of honey. I think this would like would be a what was the the children's book? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I think it's like a Winnie the Pooh type of a yeah. It's just honey about pot and uh, the kiddish cup. Kiddish cup. And you got the shofar, which mm-hmm. sort of looks like a camel if you, you, know, you do it over. <laughs> you know. do it the opposite way. We don't suggest blowing on that one. Though. Yeah, I don't, don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I put my mouth on that. Yeah, I don't think that'll get you anywhere. But this is a great one. It's soft toys. It's certainly good for like kids a little bit even younger than this. Yeah. If they want to be. Uh, or they want to have their own. Uh, sometimes, when when our kids were younger, we would have them eat prior to the holiday starting because it just gets too it gets too late. And uh, this kind of thing would be perfect for them to set it up. Or if you have a school or something like that, you want to have right. it in schools. This is uh, this is a perfect idea. And if you needed to order m- multiple pairs of them, we multiple can definitely order them, help you with that. We can certainly help you with that. Okay, let's push that over to the side. Yeah. And we go to the next thing here. So it's a nice hostess gift, you know, you go out for meals, so it can have a couple of different uses. It can be a cutting board, uh, or even, you know, you could put the sea money and the different symbols on it, uh, or put something hot on it. So this is not, this is not, this is like a tempered glass, I think, right? Yes. And it's got, obviously, the Star of David on it. It's 
got some filler here. It comes actually, I think there's more pieces to the set, are there? Yes, there's also a hollow board. I think that there's a similar hollow cover and a hot knife. And a hollow knife, right? So <clears throat> this comes from Israel. Correct. It's got a big... You couldn't tell. It's almost like an Israeli flag on it, but whatever. It's good. And of course, the Israeli elections were yesterday. Yes, and they're still arguing and figuring that yeah, out. I, think, I, I just read, actually, I think they're going to be arguing for quite a while. Yes. I think there's a lot of arguing going on. <laughs> Um, next we got is, this is good, you know what this is good for, I, I, I don't know, by the way, what was the price of this, you know what the price of this is? It's like $20? Yeah, I think. $20. I think it's like 20 bucks. This is a, to me this is like the perfect kind of thing to put underneath a little bit of, like if you want to give a nice gift for a hostess, yeah. whatever it is, you put it on this kind of dish and, you know, it's useful once a year for the hostess. Right. Right, they can put a little, you know, I don't know, dips or honey on it, you can put the honey we, honey pot right on it right there yeah right. we, we have a tray like this at my house that um we use we have a little honey dish that goes in the middle of it and then we have apples that go around oh, maybe this is just an apple it's got pictures of apples on it i didn't and it's in the shape of it's an, apple. an apple shape it didn't really dawn on me that this was an apple an yeah. apple thing but yes it's I would a say great tray it's a great tray for apples yes or you're putting honey and other gifts on it but it's pretty right that's it. Well, you know what i would do i would use this as a base put some some different types of honeys on it maybe and wrap it up in a little thing to uh, as a gift exactly or perfect if your kid is going somewhere and they mm -hmm. want to bring a, a nice gift for the whatever it is put some candy in it yeah okay it's a nice dish. what 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 are we what is going on i want to say it's about 15 dollars. 15 dollars. okay sure. now one thing that we skip over or don't think about a lot in, in my house it's usually just about in time when it's we're going out to shul and we realize we don't have any mocks over. Right. Now is your chance to to really get ahead of the ahead of the curve here. Um, we have and these are all these are all different art scroll ones that we have. These are interlinear, transliterated, regular. I mean, there's, there's English, there's English Hebrew. There's, we have everything on our site, and not just art scroll, by the Correct. way. We have kahas, we have Feldheim, we have uh, there are other. I think there are even other. There's yeah. a few others, maybe Koran. I, there's a lot of different options you have on our site. Um, if you place your order today, you'll get this. You should. You'll get this before Rosh Hashanah. Exactly. You'll get it probably next week. I think. Yeah. Really and, sure. and if you we'll have a question about shipping, like will it get to me in time? We'll definitely give us a call or send us an email. We'll let you know if there needs to be expedited shipping. Yeah. So right. I mean, these are these are great. Uh, these are great options. Like this one specifically. This is the uh, transliterated one. So it has the English. It has the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. But it also has the Hebrew written in English. Mm -hmm. So if you know, I mean, I look around shul. There's a lot of people that don't don't speak Hebrew. Right. But they want to follow along and say the liturgy as, as it's going along. Um, this is like the perfect option. It's not just it has the English, so you can understand what you're saying, but it has the Hebrew also, so you can pronounce the word the, uh, correctly and be a part of the uh, be a, and, and, and feel yes. like a part it's of a, the. Uh, in an inclusive version. Yeah, and very much. Which so. is pretty cool. So, and it has it here. You can see it's like broken up by uh, it's broken up by words. You can and, and goes down. It's a little bit obviously a little bit longer than the mm -hmm. traditional ones, yeah. but. You know, you can see the, the difference in I mean, the it, size, and but. not only do they come in different texts and styles, you also have different sizes, hardback, um, paperback, different covers. Right. And this one, this is the interlinear one. Mm -hmm. Interlinear one is if you can read the Hebrew, mm -hmm. but you still, you're like, you still want to know what it means going along, as you know, you're as going. you're going along, this is like the kind of perfect one for you. The words are a little bigger, so if your eyesight is a little bit... You know, I mean, Rosh Hashanah, you're really sitting in shul a lot. Right. And you're, you know, if you, I, I wear glasses, you wear glasses. Um, actually, I was driving last night, and I took my glasses off for a minute, and I realized, I said to my wife, I said, you know, I can't really see the road. She's like, yeah, maybe you want to put your glasses on. <laughs> um, so, anyway, so yeah, so this is, and this is the kind of, the, the words are much bigger. Yeah. It a little, it's a little bit more... It's a little easier to use than than sometimes other syndrome right. if you can't see it. And then you have right, this one's not open, but this is just your traditional pocket. pockets. This is a pocket when it comes in a bigger size. It yes. comes with leather binding on it. You have Mahzorim sets if you want to get Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Pesach, and Shavuos. You can get them all on a, a, a five setter. Yeah. They can you can get them if you need to. I, I think you can be um, if you ask. We can get them also personalized. Yeah, personalized. So if you want to say like you know yeah, put your name on it or whatever, it goes right over there. Um, there's think. a spot for it right there on this one. <clears throat> on these, I think you can choose where you'd like it. I think yeah, it goes I think we have under. To, but 
don't expect that in time for Rosh Hashanah. No, definitely no. That's more like a you want a five, you want a set of five machzor, maybe you like them all personalized, like, but you don't need it for a mitzvah or something like that. You know. Sometimes people do they get, yeah. get like this is a bar mitzvah, whatever you can do. It. Okay, and now you're moving into which we probably should have done. We probably should have done this. We should have started this with these. We should have started with these. I don't know why we didn't. Oh, whatever it is. Well, Jewish, they're here now. You can get the Jewish back. calendar. So yes. we do a, I mean, with the advent of the, uh, you know, I would say, you know, the, uh, what was it? What was it called? The Palm Pilots. Remember Palm Pilots? Oh, yeah. And with the advent of the Palm Pilot, and obviously now with, with smartphones, people keep their calendars generally on their phone. Yes. In fact, I do. That's what I do. I have a little, actually for the Hebrew date also, I yes. have a little thing on my iPhone that tells me the Hebrew date as well. But that being said, we still use a calendar at home mm-hmm. because, you know, the kids want to write, you want to see what time Shabbos is over, whatever it is. At least it might be not so great for seeing what time Shabbos is over. No, because it, it tells you? No, it doesn't. No. Maybe it has at the back here. No, not uh, that. There are others that do have it. Oh, they, they have candle lighting charts in here. You can go by different cities that you are. So they do have them in here. But if you want to see what time Shabbos, I mean, or we write down kids, uh, like, you know, the, we have like a family calendar at right. home. So these are like nice ones. This one is more like uh, Keep on Your Desk, the executive yep. one from Carbon. Um, it's very popular. It comes actually, you might recognize this because it comes in a huge desk mm-hmm. version also. You can use it like a desk blotter. Yeah. I tried that last year. I got through like March. <laughs> and it's still on March. Yeah. It, it just ends up becoming a notepad. I'm like, I don't want to rip these notes off. Right. Okay. Yeah, these are important, <laughs> these notes here all over. So, uh, yeah. and then we have this one. This one is a little bit, I don't want to see if we can open this one. This one's nice because it has a lot of cool. What they do is this is from the Jewish Museum, isn't it? No, this is a casting piece. Okay, so we do have one from the Jewish Museum. This specific one is. So this one, Mickey Casting, he goes and he does all these cool. He puts his, you know, his spin on the calendar. These really, it's wonderful artwork. Yeah. That if you want to get take advantage of, you know, it's right here. So this obviously December time. You know, it's. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It gives you a little, uh, it's got a little pinhole here. Does it have the, does, and this is a 16 month also, which is a nice thing also because sometimes you don't want to update your calendar in, you want to keep it through right. through December. This gives you this gives you four months to really get your act together of getting a new calendar. Right. Because, uh, you know, this, and you know what? It does have the Shabbos time to start the candle lighting times for one, two, three, four, five, six, for 24 cities. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, including where we are, Washington, D.C., mm-hmm. obviously New York. There's Baltimore in here. LA. What seems there a difference? Yeah, there's a, there's a two-minute difference between here and Baltimore. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it has, I would say, the major cities. Major cities, yes. I would say, well, they have Las Vegas here. Las Vegas is now a major city now, I guess. I guess, yeah. Top 24. All right, awesome. So, um, again, these will ship out a... You know, I don't know how necessary it is to have a calendar directly for the first of the year, but you might be running to the end of your calendar now and you need a, re- need a replacement. Um, we'll have these out to you. These will ship today. If you got, actually, you know what? It's, I don't know what time it is. 2.14. Two, two, two you, you, if you place the order within the next 30 minutes, it will go out today. It will go out today, yes. Including, by the way, the Mopsorum, some Mopsorum also. We will have those shipped out as soon as possible. Obviously, your toys here, we'll get those out. Um, and now, like, let's get to next week for one minute. Um, the author is Laura Gell. Laura Gell is actually an old friend of mine. We went to graduate school together, which we'll discuss next week, because it's an interesting story how she got to do a children's book. She has a line of a number of children's books, and but she has three that are obviously of interest to Judaica.com because they're Jewish. Really. There's one on Rosh Hashanah, not, I don't know, Rosh Hashanah. There's one on Hanukkah, one on Shabbos, and one on Pesach. Okay. And we'll, obviously it's before Rosh Hashanah, so it would be cool if she had a Rosh Hashanah book, but I don't know if she does. Maybe she's coming out with one. Right. I don't know. Maybe we convince her to be, you know. Exactly. We've got to be aggressive against all, uh, for all <laughs> the holidays. But I'm very excited because I actually have not seen her in a long time. So uh, it'll be a sort of re- a semi reunion. Okay. And uh, we're going to be doing, we'll, what we'll do is next week we're going to do a giveaway with her. I think yes. we're going to do with her books. Mm-hmm. So we'll give away those three books. So they're really nice and good if you, especially if you have small kids or grandkids that you want to give them to. Mm-hmm. Um, and we are excited. Obviously, call us if you have any. Any questions, call mm-hmm. soon or email soon because uh, we're running out of time here to get you your stuff for Rosh Hashanah. And stay tuned for, yeah, we're going to be coming in. We have some other stuff coming for Yom Kippur, Sukkot. 
We'll have yep. some good stuff. Yep. And don't forget to use our code WISDOM for Wisdom. 5% off your 5% off, right. Exactly. Awesome. Well, we'll see you guys next week.